Look at the little bee. Look at the little bee. You're talking to me. So a little recap of day one, we were out here, um, we did, we camped at Onion Valley Trailhead and then the next day we went up Kearsarge and we did Glen Pass as well. Um, Glen was pretty slushy when we went up, but it was not that sketchy, um, just kind of one big um, uphill. Um, it was kind of steady throughout the day um, after Kearsarge and then we got up and over Glen and we tented around Ray Lakes area. Um, tiring day for sure, um, especially with the 10 days of food in our pack, but we got through it and uh, it was a pretty good day overall. It's just everybody was pretty tired um, coming out with the 10 day food carry. Uh, and that's pretty much it for day one. Um, so we camped there. We actually cowboy camped the first night um, at Onion Valley Trailhead. Um, it was really nice and then we cowboy camped at Ray Lakes as well because um, there was not a lot of dry spots or room for tents and that was fine as well. A little bit chillier but not too bad um, for day one. Just completed Pincho Pass, and it was a breeze. Not hard at all. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So, those of you who don't know, um, Katie and MJ are taking a mental health break from the trail, and it is currently day three um, on our way to Mammoth. We're making the push to Mammoth, trying to do it in nine or 10 days. As you can see, I'm sliding around in the slush and it's only 8.45. Um, it is June 17th. We took two official trail zeros um, in town and Bishop. And then we took kind of another zero because we got back to Onion Valley Trailhead on Friday. I believe that's the 14th and we 
did Pincho this morning. It was really easy. Um, I honestly didn't even put on traction until like the last point three. Um, and it's just been smooth going down. We're gonna be crossing some river, more rivers today and I will update you further along the trail. We just climbed Mather, and it's quite a bit of a rock scramble. <laughs> but it's right there. Barely. Yeah, I, it wasn't there, I actually made it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. And he avoided the hole, like right. a champ. I and yeah, bookworm all right I'm finally on dry ground so I can walk and talk sorry I'm not as good as videoing as Katie is, but it is what it is. Um, okay, so I did a recap of day one. Um, sorry I didn't film much. She's way better at filming things than I am. Um, but day two, we woke up from our cowboy camp and then I'm trying to think, what did we do day two? Glen Pass, did we do Pincho? I can't even remember now. What was today? Day two, day two, day two. I have to think back. Give me a sec. Okay, so day two, we did the approach to Pinchot and we hiked, what? I think we were about four miles from the summit, um, about. But Pinchot was super easy um, compared to all the other passes and compared to Whitney especially. So that was not bad at all. Um, easy day, and then we came down and um, got our approach to, uh, what did we do yesterday? Mather? We did Mather this morning. I can't see. Okay, I think I remember now. Day one, we did Kearsarge and Glen, and then day two, we did the approach to Pinchot Pass. So then day three, we did Pinchot. And today we did Mather. There we go. I think I have that down now. So today is day four. It is June 18th. And we're gonna try and put in some higher miles today and tomorrow especially. Um, we're gonna set up for Mir tonight, um, get as close as we can, and then do Mir tomorrow, go down. Um, and we heard that right now is dry, a little free of snow. And then when we get down from Mir a little bit, it's gonna be um, free of snow as well. 
So we're gonna try and push for more miles today and tomorrow, opposed to nine, 10, 11, 12, what we usually do when we're slogging through snow. But since we have some dry ground, we're trying to push a little more. Um, like I said, we're trying to push to Mammoth. And if we do good miles today and tomorrow, sorry, there's a blowdown, um, then we should be able to make it to Mammoth in nine days, maybe. Try to do a Nero Zero. Um, that's the plan. And then, so there's a lot of blowdowns on this stretch, I think with a lot of avalanche, high wind, and just being a high snow year, there's just a lot going on. And sometimes it's even hard to find the trail um, when it's no snow. So that's fun. All right, back to hiking. So this morning felt really long for some reason. Um, we all didn't really sleep very well on the rock because <laughs> um, it was wet and not that comfortable, but it was okay. Probably the worst, like the worst time, like the, the worst setup tent I've ever seen. It was really bad, but I stayed dry. Um, Cause last night I didn't really get much sleep. This morning I was a little irritated cause we couldn't really find the trail. Cause leading up to Mather is a lot of snow fields. Um, and yesterday we were slogging the slush to it and it just was kind of miserable for me. Not very enjoyable. Um, so this morning was kind of hard. Um, but once we started going up the pass, I was fine again. Um, I'm kind of getting used to um, going up passes now and it kind of seems like nothing. Uh, the rock scramble didn't really seem like much after doing Whitney. Um, everything else seems like such a breeze. So um, I haven't been really scared at all. It's just been, you know, getting up and doing it, um, doing the routine of it every day. Um, and mentally uh, just getting through it. But this afternoon, I feel sky high. It is just like walking on this stuff. Another blowdown. Um, walking on ground feels like clouds after being on snow constantly, all the time. And I'm listening to music. I just feel like I'm in such a good mood now. And I feel good. It feels good to be on steady ground. I must say, I think the Sierra are beautiful, um, but they can be a beast sometimes. And I will be glad to conquer them, put it behind me, and keep walking north. Sorry about the long rants that I'm doing, but I haven't done much video, so I'm sorry. Made it to Mirror Pass, and it's right before eight o'clock, and we left at four. We were six miles away, so it's pretty good. How old is it? We are finally on some dirt again and feels good. We did mirror pass this morning up to the hut and we did a 10 by 10 
and a 12 by 12. Granite. Um, this afternoon might be a little slower, even though we have dirt. Um, flare hair is not really feeling so good. Um, I think I think it's the altitude, and he was off for three weeks, and just coming back to this um, and starting again. I mean, we've been doing like we did 12, 12, like pretty much four 12s or like three 12s for the first three days. And yesterday we did a 17 and a half, and today we're gonna be doing about the same. So I think it's just catching up to him, but I think he's gonna feel better coming down in elevation. All right, more water crossings. So I'm by this beautiful water and it's gorgeous. We're about two miles from Evolution and we're gonna cross it tonight and then camp right after. But it is so gorgeous. Hiking in not snow around this beauty now I get why people love the Sierras. But this is, oh my gosh, look at this. I just swam. Yeah. it up and over what pass did we just do uh, Selden Selden Pass Selden. Woo! see a mammoth in three days Woo. I found a wild bookworm doing bookworm things oh my God. it's even better when it's cold it's even better when it's cold Getting suited up for our first Where? river crossing today. Woo! Hey, 
<laughs> Watch it out. How far do we have to the next one? A mile. I guess I'm gonna land there. Hey, I jumped my jump too! <laughs> 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 Dan Frisky! Woo! Yee yee! <laughs> Not sure if you can hear me or see me, but we're by the Silver Creek waterfall. I just passed, and it was awesome. It is, I think, before five o'clock. And Bookworm Falls and Flair Hair are about to cross. Here's some shots. Summit at Silver Pass before 7 o'clock. Last pass before Mammoth. Woo! It is day eight, Saturday the 22nd, and tomorrow we are finally going into Mammoth. I, all the days are catching up to me now, and I feel very exhausted. I am so excited for the Airbnb that Katie and MJ got, and food, and two zeros. Oh. We've been cranking out some decent miles in this past week, so I think it's rightfully so that I'm pretty tired. Oh. All right, I'm gonna enjoy this dry ground for a little bit longer, and hopefully we can camp soon. <laughs> All right, bye. Made it down to Horseshoe Lot. Woo! Going into town. Going into town. Going into town. Going into town. Woo!